I feel like this has already upset a load of viewers. <laughs> the sheer lack of animation was just like, you just basically just took the manga and just colored it in and then shoved it on a screen. That, that's all you did. Nothing to do with their actual depictions, just budget constraints, people. Yeah. Are you too sexy for your jerkin? <laughs> 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 Welcome, Supplicant 6969, to the court of the cartoon cult. Unfortunately, the founder did a half-assed job, so we're crowdsourcing our mythos. You're here today to answer some very important questions relating to the depiction of gods and demons in this thing we call anime. So, my first question is which anime cult do you find the most terrifying? <laughs> it's, it's, it's eminence in shadow. It's, it's just like, how fucking oh. there's not just one cult there's two cults one cult i don't understand their their um motivation whatsoever because it was a shot in the dark and apparently they existed and then the other cult is just a stupid blind followers of batman who just fucking he's too stupid to know they even exist properly and like oh my god i don't just fucking I suppose that's that's the big thing about cults is just stupidity. Like there's just big driving factor stupidity. There you go. I am atomic. Shut up. <laughs> All right then, Zeno Bambino. What anime character do you truly believe is most likely to punch the Christian God in the face, and not just like wants to, but will do everything in their power to punch Christian God in the face? I feel like this has already upset a load of viewers. <laughs> <laughs> this was the less spicy topic. Right, okay, okay. It's gotta be Goku. It's gotta be Goku. It can't not be Goku. Saitama wouldn't actually go out of his way to find God, but Goku would. It would be 100% Goku. Yeah, that's fair. Well, I mean, he tried to challenge, oh God, King Yama to, to a fight when he arrived at the pearly gates like immediately. And it's just like, this is King Yama. He has a desk made of mahogany. You beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> mahogany. Right. So, Xenogellion, you've got one chance to uh, convince Aqua to accept you as one of her acolytes. Oh, dear God. What do you do? Why would I... Uh, uh, the obvious one is give her booze, right? Pay for her food. So, there's, t there's two, two possibilities. One, um, which would make more sense, is like, you know, I, I pay for her food, I pay for her booze, like, you know, I bribe her with stuff. Uh, the alternative is I threaten her with giant toads. Or alligators. Regular alligators, not giant alligators. Okay. You are creating a character for an open form tabletop RPG involving dank basements and giant flying lizards. Which anime deity would you choose to be your character's patron? So, is the role play about dank? Basements and giant lizards. Giant flying lizards. Giant fly. So so okay, but the RPG isn't being held in a dank basement with giant flying lizards. It's no. about dank basements and giant flying lizards. Yes. Okay, I wanted to make sure. Right. What the fuck are you ref? Okay, so I'm getting the dragons. Oh, Dungeons and Dragons. No fucking dear god. Right. Took you a minute. That, that took me a minute. The giant flying lizards was obvious, but the dank basements is what like threw me. I'm like. Yeah, I mean, how, do, how was I so stupid? Anyway, who would be my patron god? Depends on what character I would go for. I wouldn't I wouldn't do anything like a paladin or anything like that, because I swear to love a god, like, oh, paladins, just fucking paladins, ugh. I mean, Joey's here, so I kind of want to just say Ryoko. Ryoko would be like- R Ryoko's, Ryoko's not a deity. Ah, Ryoko's ah, not, ah, she's ah, not a deity. ah, yet, yet, was created by deities to be a better deity than the deities themselves. That does not okay. suck it. I mean, I suck mean, it. It works. It computes. Ryoko is best patron, so yeah, okay, I accept. <laughs> I feel like she would be a trickster god, though. Oh, hundred percent. Like it'd all be about all about the partying. For you know, for your rogues and your thieves. And yeah. Your, you know. I feel like any any uh say like religious spell casting or anything like would just have a seventy percent chance to do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> At least, unless it's in Ryoko's favor. All right, the semi-holy Zeno. Who is more respectful of their godly inspirations? Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon or records of Ragnarok? 
I have to say, no matter what, it's gotta be, is it wrong to try and pick up girls in a dungeon? Because I have tried watching records of, wait, records of Ragnarok? That is the trial one where they, they pit like all of humanity's best warriors against like the, the warrior gods, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right, okay. Fuck me, it needed shit tons more budget than it actually got because it was bad. Like the sheer lack of animation was just like, you, you just basically just took the manga and just colored it in and then shoved it on a screen. That, that's all you did. Nothing to do with their actual depictions, just budget constraints, people. Yeah. Also, Hestia, uh, one of the best waifus. She is a god of the hearth and the family. Yep. And they decide to make people jealous of her boob size. Respecting our deities, I see. So, White Fox has decided that Xenogelion uh, gets a, a camo in Cautious Hero, right? Oh, Which fuck. deity do does, does Xenogelion play? Which deity does Xenogelion oh. is represented by Xenogelion? Why fucking Cautious Hero? Why? Do you like Cautious Hero? Like is a strong word. Okay, okay. I watched okay. it. And I didn't at any point feel like I, I had to turn it off. Okay. I, I had I had to turn it off. I just couldn't take it anymore. But um what deity would I play as? Um I'm thinking Bacchus. <laughs> just like you know, <laughs> you know, just lying there on a recliner, just like, you know, drinking uh all, all the the booze and the the <laughs> graves and like you know, stroking my gut. Oh, look at his whole sexiness. Oh, you see, I have to wear this armor to contain how hot I, I am to the eye. Because if you take it off, it's just like blinding like the sun. Yep. Are you too sexy for your jerkin? <laughs> <laughs> I've got something very important to tell you. It's, uh, well, look, while I've got you, let me just remind you to make sure you hit the like button and turn on notifications because maybe YouTube will actually use those. Speaking of YouTube, with ad support being what it is, if you'd like to see the show improve even more, consider heading over to patreon.com slash Xenogellion. And if you like listening to Xeno rant about anime, head over to youtube.com slash compicast to find out what harem anime he's watching now. Oh yeah, remember now, while you're watching, make sure you keep an eye out for the golden- Gherkins. I want gherk. Quick, stop making me hungry. Okay, I don't know how we got started on the topic of pickles, but anyway. Choose any anime character to be your sleep paralysis demon. Okay. This, it, what a sleep paralysis demon is basically something that prevents you from sleeping, or it, it's a reference to when you can't, like when you've got sleep paralysis and you're like kind of waking up, and like the the theory or theories like from ye olde times was that there was a sleep, there was a demon like sitting on your chest, preventing you from getting up out of bed and actually properly waking up. Okay, okay, right. So I hate to say this, it's gonna come up. Let me risk, Grammy. See, no, no. What's it's it? been so long since you've hit, hit since you've hit a taboo anime. Would you please reveal Doctor Cthulhu's taboo anime? Yeah, it's gonna happen. Yeah, couldn't I couldn't not say Rius. I had to say Rius. You just want her to sit to, to sit on your chest. So next question. <laughs> Zeno Bambino, has any anime that you've watched or know of done the twist of well, God is actually a computer? or this person, or your imagination, whatever twist at the end of it all, effectively. <laughs> so there's, there's, there's one. I, w I wouldn't say effectively. I would certainly say it was poignant to the point of I fucking, like, fucking, I want to say I rage quit, but it was the last episode. It was the last thing that happened in the series. Spoiler warning. SSSS Gridman, right? The... It's it's basically it's kind of like the Tokusatsu Gritman, but yeah, anime version. But anyway, regardless, it turns out that the main villainess of the whole series actually created her own universe. Didn't like the fact that she was losing, so decided to collapse the universe and leave. Ryoko, is that you? <laughs> Ryoko, is it where? Not quite. Not quite. And like that, that's that is that is the one that like really fucking stuck with me of like this this is this is a, a deity or a god or whatever you want to call it that created a universe didn't like that it was losing and threw its toys out of the pram <laughs> or made its toys cease to exist so beyond that 
nothing really jumps out at me. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, I can't remember her name. I got so angry at this. This is this is also SSSS Gridman was also the anime that made it publicly acceptable the new anime fetish of thighs in stocking. And it's just like God damn it. Yep, that's the thing. Um, I just want a quick tangent here. You are now making th me think of a deific toddler, and I have a toddler, and that's horrifying. Xenogelion, which is your favorite instance of we must beat up God who is also my dad? Okay, I've I've got I've got one right. This is the only one that kind of okay. I got two. One of them is Demon Slayer because I think I know where the narrative's going with that, but I'm not 100 percent sure. The other, and this is the only one I can really think of that would work, is basically Jolene Cujo versus Jotaro Cujo. That's the only one that I can fucking think of. Also, uh, Baki. Don't forget about Baki. <laughs> oh, I've not actually watched nearly enough Baki, but yeah, Baki what? the Grappler as well. No, I haven't. Fantasy class, you have to watch it! Okay, no. I did watch a chunk of it on Netflix. I think it then came off Netflix, which pissed me off because I didn't finish it. But I do know that basically at one point in time, Baki has reached his peak. And in order to become more peakishness of pure fighterness, he ends up having to sleep with his girlfriend and him having sex um, extends his abilities even further. Anyway, there you go. I said, I was, said two. Your answer was incorrect. The, 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 the correct answer was Baki. Thank you. It, okay, cool story, bro. I knew he said Shinji and Gendo. I'm sorry? I can't believe you just mentioned it in passing, but yes, would you please reveal <laughs> Joey Zero's anime? Fuck. Okay. 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 Oh, fuck. Okay. Fuck. Okay. Getting real now. It is. All right. You are reincarnated as a shrine maiden and or shrine priestess. Which anime priestess's life would you prefer to lead? My God. Is there any... I can't think of anyone else apart from Sailor Mars and Akano from... Um... High school double D. Shit. Is th There's got to be more Shrine Maidens. Oh, definitely. I just can't give you a list. Come on, brain. Ooh. Ooh, wait. I thought of a third one. Well done. You can pick up a cookie and a gold star sticker on your way home. Oh, fuck yeah. And some matcha flavored ice cream. I, no, that, that makes my poop green. I'm going to go with Akano because, I mean, she shoots lightning and is the devil. You don't want to be a magical girl? No. And I also don't want the tragic backstory that the sword maiden has the very bad tragic backstory well you know we all need a bit more religion in our lives i think i've heard some heretical statements today so let, let's get back to a more wholesome thing and i'll ask you what is your favorite proverb from the holy thibel <laughs> <laughs> Um, thou shalt not remove thigh highs from holy android sword maidens. Xeno. Uh huh. Which which ones are you referring to? <sighs> Fuck. Nero Automata. Oh no, Xeno! Oh! <laughs> the time has come for Uretsuki to no! for you. <laughs> Three uh. landmines. Would you please reveal the Fuck! first temple anime? Oh, boss and shitting. God. Damn it. Wait, is that Tokyo Rosino? Or I is have that made the you, question. You must, have, you must have lost the favor of the gods today. Yeah, clearly. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, what character unjustly dodged a smiting? Sorry, my life is flashing before my eyes. Give me a second. It's kind of like you're in a you're in like a, a McDonald's drive-through and you just witnessed a car accident and the person at the window is like, "I'm sorry, sir. What did you say you wanted?" And you're like, "Hang on, like, <laughs> what hang on, happened? please." <laughs> like, okay, what character? Kenji Atari. Yeah, nothing's off the table now. I mean, you're safe in that you're doomed. <laughs> yes, it can't get any worse now. I want to say, is it? Uh, I think it's Melty from Rising of the Shield Hero. She should have just been executed. This is the correct answer. Fuck. I mean, I know it's the correct answer, but like, I still feel so utterly defeated. I I feel guilty. If you want, I'll watch a Uritsuki Doji with you. It's a little like watching porn with a friend, but <laughs> like. Well, I was gonna get Nazareth to watch it with me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Yes, I demand to be there. <laughs> oh my god. 
Is it over yet? Are we done? Are we get can I can I go wallow in self pity yet? Soon, soon. Uh -huh. Um, first of all, thank you for your cooperation today. Uh huh. Let us all conclude by ritualistically smashing that like button and sharing this video with your friends and fellow devotees. Please remember to avoid the Eldritch Horror Pit on your way out. <sighs> I think I fucking missed that one. <laughs>